how to make a web page load faster so when you type www.xyz.com in your browser you are routed to a particular server how that routing works i made a separate video on that you can watch it here now in this video we are talking about what happens after that like how to make your web page loading fast we'll take the example of instagram we'll see that how they make their loading faster and let's see how we can achieve this is your client this is your client web app browser uh, and from here you are making a call to the server www.instagram.com now you are routed and then an html is loaded the html for the instagram.com is loaded but not the resources in it for example there are a lot of different resources which are used in loading a particular web page which you see there is javascript there are various different images which you see on an instagram feed which which is there so these are not loaded what happens is the html comes the browser starts parsing this html and in this as soon as it sees different resources which are available it then starts fetching those from the server how can we make this faster why not prefetch certain things in the javascript there are certain queries which you might you might have to run which may take a lot of time and you might want to start those queries before actually rendering the page so to do that we use something called a preload tag in html in this you specify for example the file which you the javascript file which you want to load and you give it and you add this tag at the top itself so as soon as the browser reads these preload tags it starts fetching these resources or doing whatever uh, the script is doing and then further processes and further renders your html page so for example like if you are using instagram so it has a feed page container through display the feed which you have feed page container.js so what they will do they will simply uh, add this to the preload tags but now since you are adding some things to the preload tags you would have to make sure that you are adding them in a particular correct order so for example if you add something which is required much later in your web page and which is not much required at the top and the server is taking a lot of time fetching it then it might cause a lot of issues now another thing to talk about in this is for example you are scrolling your instagram feed your feed has been loaded now you're scrolling it on your web app i'm not talking this about the android app which you have uh, these all of this which you are talking about this is about the web app so you're scrolling the feed so you will see that instagram is an infinite feed what we mean is that you don't have to press refresh every time it loads itself so how does that happen so you basically have to fetch certain resources as soon as the user reaches the end of that particular feed so all of the feed is not fetched instantly it must be batched so the feed is batched into various intervals now when do you fetch the next batch so to do this what uh, instagram does is that it puts the this loading for the next batches into a priority queue the priority queue initially for this these task is very very low and as soon as the user reaches the end of the feed the priority of these tasks is increased these resources are then fetched and the calls are made to the server now the second optimization which we come to is that the preload uh, tags this only starts after you have fetched the complete html uh, from the server so this involves a two way round trip like if you know about the tcp handshake it is a it is a two way handshake and it is a round trip connection so it begins only after your two round trips are over so the parsing which you are doing it begins only after this round trip is over so how do we do that we want to load it even before that we want to make it even faster how would we do that so how fast we can go we cannot uh, like start bringing the data when the person has not even requested so what we want to do is as soon as the request reaches our server we want the page to start load we will be combining two things http chunked transfer encoding and progressive html rendering in browser so what this means these are two terms we will be talking about these terms so like as you see from the name itself http chunk transfer encoding what we need to do is that break down the html into chunks so for example uh, there is a html which has come okay now you start the browser starts parsing it from the top you don't want the complete html at the start itself you would need the initial tag the browser will parse that if there is a something js being loaded in that then the browser will start doing whatever it has to do with that instead of going to the further tags so you don't need the complete html so you you can chunk this html now how will this chunking reduce our time we will see normal scenario clients make a call to the server uh, it gets the html and in that there are some preload tags the client then start reading these preload tags 
it then again makes a call to the server for processing these tags it does not read forward so for each call it for each thing which has to be processed it is again making the call to the server so it is involving a lot of calls to the server a lot of back and forth happening round trip time and a lot of time delay what we want is we want to push the data without this client to ask for it so so what we do is that suppose client requests from the server so the server in the response sends a chunked response just the preload tag suppose then the client does not ask for the next tag the server automatically sends the next chunk of the response the next tag till that time the client has already started processing these preload tags but this also does not kind of helps we know that in this tag there are some scripts which are which are there the server knows so why not start start actually preparing that data as soon as the call hits the server so whenever you when when the call gets to the server and the server returns the tag the server starts the processing in its side itself so so earlier what was happening that clients make a call server responds and then server is sitting idle but now server will not be sitting idle you make a call the server itself will start processing what the client might expect now after this for example if there is there was an image to be loaded the client the server will fetch that image itself and push it as a chunk to the client itself so that when the client has to actually fetch it from the server it can find with itself only so how will the client find it with itself only we'll talk about that now so for that we'll introduce a cache on the client so what will what will this cache do when the uh, client has to make a call to the server to process any tag like some script or image it has to bring or a video it has to bring it will first check the cache if in the cache the the that particular thing exists it doesn't has to make a call to the server that's how we are taking that's how we are actually saving time now you might be thinking that uh, you might be thinking that it is possible that uh, the processing for the first preload script is already going on while the next response for the image came and the the browser starts processing the uh, image also so this is kind of a parallel processing happening on the browser itself so how does the browser finally create the web page so that's what brings us to the second term which was progressive html rendering in the browser so what the browser what it will do it will combine these things and then will be able to display a coherent html page uh, what is possible so these are the two techniques which are used when the client request for the html the server knows that now it will be asking in the further steps for them some script processing or some for query results for example in instagram case there are some graphql queries which are running so the server will start running those queries create the result and push it to the client while the client is on its side already rendering some of the things which it has to render and when the client has to render this uh, next thing it checks the cache and just displays it now we come to the third thing of optimization now we have created a cache so why not use it so whenever first time you open the instagram.com you are first reading an entry from the cache the entry is not from the server it is not a fresh entry the fresh call has just gone while you are just reading the data from the cache which was already present so that's how you are actually saving the time prevent the user wait which it has to do for the web page to get loaded so you will see that instagram dot instagram dot com whenever you reload it it's instantly loaded and most of the times the results are also the same that's mostly because it is cache first so whatever is in the cache it gets loaded first and then the request goes to bring the actual fresh data which is there can be some issue with this approach what if the user liked something on the cached copy so for example there was an image the user commented on the cached copy of that image by the time the data came from the server and in that the things have changed there have been more comments there have been more likes it is also possible that you the user does not have the permission to comment on that image or video anymore now what will happen how will instagram resolve this kind of uh issues which can come so uh you let me know the answer to this approach like what are the possible scenarios you think which can be done and we'll someday discuss this also in some other video